Early on, some political pundits drew comparisons between the Biden presidency and FDR or LBJ. Now, a year in, there have been more negative comparisons to the Gerald Ford and Jimmy Carter administrations. CNBC senior White House correspondent Kayla Tausche has a look at how the White House is trying to rehab the president's image as they head into year two. From the earliest days of the Biden presidency, there were great expectations. Plans for trillions in spending, a redistribution of wealth, and a vast expansion of government. Then what was billed as the next New Deal ran into reality. Franklin Roosevelt, Lyndon Johnson were not dealing with a, such a narrow victory and narrow margins in the House and Senate. They simply don't have the mandate to go that far. There was common ground on COVID aid and infrastructure before a new question arose. Conservative economists have drawn parallels to LBJ's Great Society and suggested that massive government spending paired with, you know, wartime programs would lead to out-of-control inflation. You're a student of history. Why do you believe that is or is not the case? I believe it's not the case because uh, it's been shown not to be the case in our time. As inflation ticked up toward 40-year highs, GOP opponents drew a new comparison. I believe Joe Biden is Jimmy Carter 2.0. And then the fall of Kabul, reminiscent of Saigon, the White House haunted by its own words. There's going to be no circumstance where you see people being lifted off the roof of a embassy in the, of the United States from Afghanistan. It is not at all comfortable. Now the White House wants a reset, some distance from the party's extremes. But I'm not Bernie Sanders. I'm not a socialist. I'm a mainstream Democrat. With grand ambitions shelved for smaller goals. Yes, I'm confident we can get uh, pieces, big chunks of the uh, Build Back Better law signed into law. And a new approach to the Biden era. I'm also going to be out there seeking the more advice of experts outside, from academia to editorial writers to think tanks, bringing in uh, presidential historians to get their perspective on what we should be doing. Pledging to draw from history to move forward. For the news, I'm Kayla Tausche, Washington. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.